Well, you and uh, that was good. You and Mike have a little something in common. You're both in West Tennessee. That's right. I understand that, uh, Mike, I understand they're doing a lot of electioneering down there and around Gleason. Oh, Ralph, it's going on pretty heavy down there. The politicians is running all over town, wearing hair off everybody trying to get a vote, you know. <laughs> and uh, I've been keeping a pretty good eye on them. I'm not a member of any organized party. I'm a Republican, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, little David over here said that he was a Democrat, and we got them too down there in Gleason. Have you? Yeah, in fact, they're coming out in the broad open daylight. This Are they? Year. Yeah. Uh, That's Tatus. It sure is, and it's all over me. <laughs> you, have you ever been involved in a political campaign down there? No, not no, Ralph. I don't know much about politics. I know that that uh, we took the country away from the Indians, and they scalped a few of us, and. We turn it over to the politicians, and they've scant the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't wing all from watching the politicians. I've learned a lesson. They've, they're all motivated. We can learn the great virtue of being motivated by the politician. Have you ever seen one that had the slightest thought he was going to get beat? No, no, I, mean, I haven't. We got an old boy down at home that runs for sheriff every, every term, and he never could get sheriff. He'd make a fine-looking sheriff if he could just get to vote, you know. But he never did get the hat full of, could get a hat full of votes. And one time he's out lecturing and went up to the door, and he said, Ma'am, I'm Ross Garrett. I'm running for sheriff. She said, Hold it right there, Ross. He said, I've known you ever since you was a little boy. Said, I wouldn't vote for you if you was the last living male human being in Weekly County. Said, you run with the wild women, you drink whiskey, and you play with playing cards. You so sorry if you was to fall over dead in the front yard, the buzzards wouldn't stop to eat you. Now get on off my porch before I sick a dog on you. Well, old Ross put his hat back on and went to the truck. And he got his little tablet out. And Went down there beside her name, and he wrote, Doubtful. Ralph, <laughs> 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 I, I wanted to plug my album tonight. We, <laughs> it come in on our mail, and uh, here, let me get that off. You know, you, you are the sneakiest... <laughs> Guest we ever have trying to get that plug in for your album. Well, it's a good. The last time you came, I know why you did that. Last time you came to the show, I saw it sitting there by the couch. I knew you were going to grab it, so I hid it. Yeah. Well, that Ralph, it's a million seller now. Is it really? Yeah. We got a million of them in the cellar, and we need to get rid of them. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I, I won't. I won't take up all your time. I hope not. I, <laughs> it, but if anybody would like to have one of these, you can get one by sending $8 plus a dollar for postage and cardboard, you know, to Mike Snyder, Gleason, Tennessee, 38229, and we'll lick one up and send it to you, and we're much obliged. <laughs> we appreciate it. That's, that's it? Yeah, that, I did your... give them the price, didn't I? We yeah. got a cassette, too, right? Oh, all right. All right, we ha and we have a break. We'll be okay. right back. <laughs> 